thought I'd lost you, Sonichu. <sighs> but I'm left to endure it regardless, alright? I started it, so I'm going to finish it. That's just the kind of person I am. Thank you, Magic Chan. In the last episode, Sonichu was talking to Magic Chan about some Jamaican vet that was just sitting around in a dumpster. I, I don't care how much you try to um, justify Enos' um, actions, but you should have done something. Like, at this point, it's like, you call the police and they come, and clearly they have the authority to come here and get this man help, but yet people are just ignoring him regardless. He's been sitting out here in a dumpster, being a hobo, for all this time. He's like, what, 70, 80? And nobody just cares. That's just, that's just the point. No one fucking cares. I mean, Chris is too busy trying to outlaw tobacco instead of helping other people. That's just the kind of person he is. He cares about the little things other than the big things. So the police officer on the left here says, Little Robbie, giving you a good race? <sighs> I don't know how this is structured, so I'm just going to read it randomly. If it sounds jumbled, that's because it's written retardedly. I mean, just look at this. It's just dumb. It's outright dumb. Time to my bro. Oh shit! Oh look, everybody, it's a black male. Not only a black male, but a good black male. Like Silent Chu here is actually fist pumping this guy instead of knocking him out or something like that. You know, it's not really. You don't really see that many minorities that are treated, I guess, fairly in terms of um, <clears throat> Silent Chu. Like there was the the manager guy, the big fat dude. The big tub of fuck that was like um some manager of Walmart or whatever. And I think that's pretty much it in terms of black males. I mean there are some like black female jerk offs, but again, jerk offs are like unanimously evil, so there's that. <sighs> oh um Constables, Cheryl, Grant, and Lewis Perez. Yo Lou, how's your wife and look? Mm. <clears throat> Read this verbatim. How's your wife and little Lou? Dicks! I'm talking about dicks! Oh, God! Rob's getting faster every day, and my little ladies are going good in school. Stop saying it that way. Little ladies don't. That's so creepy. In school, too. Rosie's still super fast. Stop it! Awesome. Well,. I gotta fly, y'all keep it real, peace. Listen man, don't worry about Enos. Well, we'll send his stash, what the fuck? To the NASA rocket. The fuck? The fuck? Just get it off the damn streets, don't send it to space. Clean him up good, then check him into a soup hotel room with a warning. What the warning? What you mean with the fucking warning? This man needs really rehabilitation. There's a super ho- I said almost a super- Soup Hotel have like any intervention or anything like that? He's clearly an addict. This is, he doesn't understand the outside world. That's just- that's just the simple fact. We'll sit with him until the ambulance arrives. Peace, Sonic Chu. <sighs> Sonic Chu fucking flies up a building. Legendary crystals, hear my call. As a child of electric energy, of all those who were brainwashed by Sewell and Graduon, release him free. I should have done like God Sonic Q for this, but oh well. Free of their control forever and let them live free to. How many signs are you gonna say free? To love and feel love again. Chaotic control. Just, just say chaos control. You fucking ripped off enough in this comic, dude. Where am I? What? Huh? Why am I wearing this outfit? Ugh. The last thing I remember was sitting in a college classroom. Oh my god. What have we done? I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. And now, it's up to Chris to clear the witch and the warlock. Shortly after the BBC. PVCC citizens, or PVC citizens, let's just go ahead and say that. See Chris's like really weirdly shaped foot. I don't know 
what kind of shoe this is. Like, it's weird. I, I never understood why he draws his shoes like this. He steps in. So, the time has finally come. Yes, our final confrontation. Let's see how fast this is gonna be. Remember how she's built up as like the end all be. <sighs> I just saw something I want to complain about. The end all be all villain of like Sonic Chu and she's his main villain. Let's see how quickly he just fucks her right over. I am not surprised. It only seems like it it was yesterday when I was deemed a social outclass outcast. I almost said outclass. How ridiculous am I? By the live spoken words of a hundred men and women, not one person, not one, would ever show me true love or devotion again. God damn, is that the reason why you're doing this? Then I turn to witchcraft, so I will change all their opinions of, of me. Love potions, makeover spells, cheerleader sacrifices. God damn. Cheerleader sacrifices. This woman went all out. Then I found the wand that contained Count Graduan. He promised to help me seek revenge on all who share love. If I cannot be loved, no one would. So I built a fake college to bring in and brainwash foolish individuals to do my bidding. And now they are themselves again. <sighs> my grass. Thanks to you and your electric hedgehog. Your stubborn dumb sweetheart search irritated me among all others. <sighs> you know, there's not much I guess in terms of context to what she's fucking talking about. But knowing the comic at this point, if you were to jump in randomly somewhere, you would have no fucking idea what's going on. So if you didn't know that um, Sawil was actually Mary Lee Walsh, a real life person who basically was the dean of a college, and I've, I think I've already went over this before. Anyway, is Chris crying here? Is he fucking crying because of some words someone's saying? God, man, you're such a bitch. You really are. Grow the fuck up. <sighs> but anyways, sorry I got sidetracked. She's basically a dean of a college, basically told Chris that he'll never find a girlfriend to mate with the way he's um going about it. Which is basically sitting this fat ass down with a sign saying, hey, I'm open for a relationship. Does anyone think that's going to work, like statistically? You think girls are just going to walk up to you and say, hey, you are sexually open, let me sit down and talk with you. No, you got to be active. And again, I've already went over this with one, but I just... Need to understand how stupid this is and the reason why he's mad at this woman. And because he puts his real life, sorry, I'm just staring at. I've already told you that there's a problem with this page, and I've made it clear that there's a problem that I have. I've seen something I want to bitch about, like at length, but I keep staring at it. So let me just shut up and get on with it. You kept going with such a strong will and spirit. How fucking dare you? I had no such will or spirit. Fuck you. I also realized that there is, well, there was still one man who goes unpunished. And my hatred, the cow. Just, okay, here. Look at this shit. Let me read the dialogue first. <laughs> Let me just read the dialogue first. I will fight you with my power alone. Plus. Do not do your will and release the count for me to punish another day. Do it, Christian Weston Chandler. Do it. Just look at the bosom. Just look at it. Look at how large this is. She's supposed to be an old ass woman. Like, I would say you're in her 60s. Look at this shit, dude. Just look at it. Look how big they are. Why do you have to sexualize every single woman in your... Is he supposed to be... Has his, his entire like art style was, or at least still is, inspired by anime. Look at all this. I'm sorry. This just blows my mind on how just utterly big they are. <sighs> anyway. She gives Chris a staff. 
and he fucking smashes it. And the fight is on. I shed a tear of sympathy towards your life. I have had not much myself. I had cursed most of the adult male population. So that makes you just as bad as her, right? That's what you're getting at? You know, because, you know, you're salty about not getting a girlfriend. So you cursed literally every single male in the entire population, even those you haven't met. Even those who probably don't even have girlfriends either. <sighs> Man, he, he freaking draws his damn blades of Athena or something like that. These fucking God of War swords. They had to take all the women and make it much hard for me. No, Chris. There's a lot, lot in the way. In the way of you not getting a girl. A lot in the way of you not getting a girl. There can be a single fucking male on this planet. Except for you. People still would not find you attractive. I'm sorry. I'm super sorry. But that's just the truth. The truth fucking hurts and you need to hear it. <sighs> My miss. What the fuck? Oh. You were of less aid as well, so will. I don't, I don't know why she has anything to do with it, you know, she, she's just here to tell you you can't get a girlfriend, but because you over exaggerate everything, you took that fucking personally, did you? At the end of this battle, every last curse I gave will be no, no it won't, no it won't, you can't just write something out just by saying it. I can shoot someone in the foot and say sorry, but that doesn't change the fact that there's a bullet in their fucking foot, okay? Be known and void, yet you will not be, be forgiven for your deeds, so will I am. Your terror ends here. The fight begins truly. Rarely wants waxing with the trident. Chris flails his fucking arms at her, and I don't know. Maybe Dust is getting her eye in here. I don't know what's going on. I think it's supposed to be him punching her, but the way he drew it just looks like he's flailing his right arm. Bam! He hits it with the, like, the, the freaking blades of Athena. Club Lamb. He does it again. She fires magical like orbs at him. Chris fucking deflects him. Right back at her. She does some things here. She's doing some magical things here. I don't know. Chris jumps up. Uh, apparently, I think she's like shooting little beams at him. She uses a shield and fucking help. This was like two pages. This is what I'm talking about right here. I'm okay. Just paralyzed. I concede. She just gives up. She gives up. That's how fast this fucking was. That's how fast it was. Literally two pages. Not counting all the dialogue between. Two pages of the major villain of the entire comic. And that's it. <laughs> that is it. That's absolutely it. The fight fucking ends. I can see it. I'm paralyzed. You're fucking too strong, guy. <sighs> Later at the Quickfield Shopping Center. Thank you all for attending. I have some announcements to make. Yes, citizens of Quickfield, which seem to be entirely populated of stick figures. Why does Chris have two bodyguards? Dude, look who's behind you. Sadichu. Who are you guarding from? You literally just defeated Rayleigh Walsh. The jerk off army's gone. Graduan's gone. Four sick garbage is gone. What do you need to be defended from? There is literally nothing stopping you anymore. Nothing. <sighs> a, a giant wall of fucking text. <clears throat> Firstly, so Will Ryan has finally and officially been stripped of her dark magic. Now hold on now, you have worries, but she has also been arrested and serving life in maximum security prison of Washington, D.C. I'm surprised that Quickville does not have a maximum security prison. Like, it, it'll be probably ran like Arkham Asylum. I'm literally serious. It'll be ran exactly like Arkham Asylum. Every last living individual who was brainwashed by her have been released of her spell, including the ex manager ex I am going to make it legal for all, why it wasn't legal before, for all homosexuals to do as they please within the city. But gay man, what the fuck? <laughs> oh God.
but gay marriage will continue to be illegal. You know, you could set an example for Quickville, because I want to believe that it's literally succeeded from the nation. Like, it's its own little piece of land that's its own little, like, has its own little government rule. I am appointing Crystal to be my assistant in social relations, so all input can be better understood because I can't talk for shit from the people. For the people, and I, Christian Weston Chandler, will continue to be the mayor of Quickville, Virginia. Because without me and my capabilities, this city would be lost oh, forever. Shit. Like, without me, nothing would be able to thrive. I've ran it so perfectly from, from now. Although now, I shall make less appearances in Sonic 2's adventures. Why? What? Mm. He's breaking the fuck out of this fourth wall, dude. There's no fourth wall left. I have to commend it to Chris here. I can do this. I cannot bend the fourth wall this thoughtlessly if I wanted to try. I try. Like, literally try. Like, this This is beyond Deadpool. Even Deadpool would be like, what the fuck, dude? Chill out. Deadpool has no fourth wall. There's none where he, wherever he's at. What? Like, this? Sonic 2? This, this is nothing. There's no continuity. There's just nothing. A fourth wall isn't even a concept here. It was never a concept. Whew. Now for secondary topics. Wow, I gotta use the restroom, says Slomo Slomona. <sighs> Watch my bags. From who? There's no one sitting next to you. From fucking who? Who's gonna steal from you guys? Sure, sweetheart. And I'll watch over our little blessing too. The fuck? What kind of like look is oh? What kind of look is that on his face? I, I can see the egg. I was wondering what he was talking about. But what kind of look is that on his face? He's like he's saying, "Oh fine, I'll watch over her." Oh, it looks like he's fucking bored. 